Welcome to this Silk Central Getting Started video where we're going to look at how to integrate automated tests as part of your test plans. Now in Silk Central, first of all, we're going to go to tests and we're going to select the source control integrations. Within here, we'll be able to configure a new profile for a source control. And this is how we're able to specify the location of where we'll pick up automated test files from. In the source control system, you see a number of different options for source control system integrations that are available. Now I'm just going to edit an existing one and we're just going to look at how this has been configured. This uses a UNC path, which is where you're able to use a network location or a location on your machine. A UNC path is preceded by two forward slashes as part of the path name. The working folder here is a temporary location which can be used to store temporary files. Now if your network location needs a username and password, password, specify it at this point. Now we're going to go into our test. And within our tests, the first thing to do is we're going to create a test container. When we create a test container, this is where we specify which source control location we're going to pick up our automated scripts from. So we're going to pick up the sample project source control profile, which was looking at the C colon slash silk for J file location. So for a basic level, that's all we need to do at this point. So once we have our test container created, it's looking at the right location to pick up the automated scripts files from. The next thing to do is to create your silk central test. So we're going to create a new child test enter the test name and the next thing that we'll actually then looking at doing is we'll select the type and it's at the type where you specify what is the automation tool you're going to use. We're going to select JUnit test and a JUnit test is used to pick up a JUnit test or we also use it for our silk for j integrations. So we set it to JUnit and select next. Now, within the properties, we're going to specify the Java home directory. And this is what's going to tell you where your Java install file is. So on my machine, it's C program files, x86, Java, JRE7. So we enter that location, you'll check that on your machine. Now, under the class path, first parameter that you're going to need to enter is information for what's going to identify this as a silk for j script. And that's identified by the location of the silk test hyphen JTF nodes PS dot jar file. So that's going to be the same for all your silk for j scripts. Now the second part, the SC integration dot jar file, is really what's going to specify what is your automated test script. So where does this come from? And we're just at this point going to swap into Eclipse, we're going to look at a package and we're going to talk about exporting a package. Now when you export a package from your silk for j Eclipse, you export it as a jar file. When you export the jar file, you need to know your project and your package that you're exporting. So in my case, the Borland website one, and that's now going to export all the class, the projects, the XLG information that is relevant. And at this point, the jar file that I'm going to specify here, I'm going to put it to my source control location, which was C colon slash silk for J files. And then I'm going to specify my jar file name. So my jar file I'm going to call SC integration one dot jar. Now, this puts all the information relevant into your jar file. Now, follow the next through and go back into Silk Central now that I've specified the test class at the top, which is what's going to be picked up from your Silk for J. Now, that then creates and links your test to being a Silk for J script. We'll see the J unit test properties, we'll see the test class and method that's been specified. So at this point, that's ready to now do a try run. So a try run is just a way to validate the execution. So I've started that and it started off the Silk for J script using the Silk Central execution server. It's going to run through and it's going to go through different actions against my website. And at the end of this, it will then report the results back to Silk Central and we'll see unassigned tests collecting results. And once that's completed, it will then show the information. And that's shown under tracking activities. So here we can see the SC integration test is completed and it has a run ID. We right click and I can do view details. So that run ID 123, we can see it passed. 
we can see it took 56 seconds. At the bottom we can then drill down. At this point I could raise a new issue or assign an existing issue to this execution run. But what we're going to do is we're going to click on the run ID 212 and that's going to give us detailed insight. When I go to my timeline tab, I'm going to see a visual storyboard or representation as to the different screenshots that were gone through and captured. And this is obviously dependent on how you've set up your automation tool. In this case here, I see bitmap images. Now, as this is a Silk4j test, I've got an XLG file, which is my true log file. When I select this, it allow me to open up the Silk true log file for me to just look at more information and within the silk tree log explorer i can then click on the different options and just navigate to view information if i have a verify on the screen i can open the verification and just see if there's any differences or make sure i'm happy with that so i'm going to close that down and just talk through a couple of the other tabs so we've got messages success conditions and attributes and parameters so let's close that down now so back into our testing activity pane, you see at test, I can select to go to the test and open up my SC integration test direct. Now, when I open that up, we'll see information against the test record linked from the execution to the test. It hasn't got an execution plan because we did this as a try test run. And you can then look at further information through the runs, issues and history.